Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tommy here with Kicks and Bricks and we are back with another short video. So today's video is going to be focused on AYCD. I'm getting a lot of requests on how to set it up, what it's used for, things of that nature. So we're gonna go over just the basics. I'm not gonna go over in depth on all of the other options that are available to it and all the other services that they offer. Just gonna be the one click um, out of the toolbox and third party uh, capture solvers for foot sites and AMD, Walmart, things like that. Um, so let's start off first. Once you click, once you buy your AYCD, you purchase your toolbox, you download it, you'll open it up and you should see something similar to this. This is what you'll see. You'll open up one click and then once you open up one click, you'll see this, but it'll be empty of course. Now, this is where you're going to add your Gmails, add your proxies, and you're going to farm them in order to generate human activity in order to raise your trust score. So very easy. You just go to file, you go to add account. Now your Gmail, when you purchase them, they'll be in a specific order. They'll, they'll have your Gmail, your password, and then it'll be your recovery email and then your proxy if you purchase a gmail with a proxy if not then it'll just be your gmail your password and then your recovery email so you'll simply paste your gmail here paste the password here paste your recovery email here and then hit save then you'll go to your proxy section you'll go to create you'll paste in all your proxies here and you'll hit save and then you'll go back to your accounts and you'll add them there now once you if say you order say you have 20 isps and 20 gmails you're going to go straight in order down from the first G, first isp to the last one and you're going to you're going to attach them in order so you'll simply just right click go to proxy go to set proxy then choose the proxy you want to add to it and hit save now they're combined and then you just come here you hit play and it'll start generating activity right away now for the first time when it logs in, sometimes it requires you to open the browser and click yes. So you'd wanna hit this eyeball, and then once you hit this eyeball, this will pop up. You can log in manually or finish logging in, and then that's it. Once you do it one time, you should not have to do it anymore after that, unless it's an EDU email. If you have an EDU email, sometimes you have to log in once every two weeks or something like that. Um, but that's that now once you're you leave that you'll go to settings You'll go to sleep accounts at night and you will choose your region My region is in North America. So my accounts go to sleep at 11 o'clock and they say sleeping overnight And then they start back up again at 8 a.m. Now automatically clearing about uh, browser cache is only on if you're running out of disk space and you need to clear it however when you clear that you have to log in every time i want to keep the session with as much data as possible so i leave it off um and that's pretty much it for that now for third party capture companies like cap monster or two cap to run foot sites and things like that you need to solve a caption in order to get into queue so you have a few options you can add your emails and your isps into your inbot and open up foot site harvesters and manually solve but if you're running a thousand or fifteen hundred tasks you're not going to get very far or you can sign into cat monster or two cap create an account and then they will give you what's called an api key now that api key gets plugged into your aycd dashboard so you'll go to aycd.io and you will click on auto solve you have to purchase auto solve in order for this to work you will add api key here where it says third party solvers then once you do that it will pop up here these are all of my third party solvers so once i link my aycd to my bot i simply press start and all of the requests come here in order to solve that's the way they're solved now, as far as the um, other things that are available, as far as AYCD is concerned, there is one other feature, profile converter. Now the profile converter is, is pretty decent in a, few different, in a few different ways. 
what it does is, is it allows you to seamlessly change your profiles, add um, random letters to the front, jig it uh, a few different ways. So let's go ahead and go through that now. So this is the profile converter. In order to create a new one, you'll simply hit create. You can name it whatever you'd like. Same shipping and billing as general. You'll do tests. And then what the cool thing about it is there's advanced jig options here. So say you want to jig line one, you want to add three letters to the front, which is what I do for Yeezy Supply. I'd simply leave it exactly like this. Characters number is three, and then just hit jig, and it'll automatically add three random letters as many times as you click it. It'll jig the entire address. Sometimes it'll take street off, sometimes it won't. Um, but you can do anything, first and last name, well, I don't have one in, so it's not going to work, but it works pretty well. It adds multiple things. You can do line two if you want. So say I was to add apartment 1A, and I also want to jig line two, then I would simply... So it does it for you, and you can go down the line and do it that way as many times as you want. You add your card, you hit save. And the good thing about this is you can literally change the format to any bot that you want. So say you're moving this to mech or you need to move it to Valor, you would simply go to export, select it, you choose the bot that you wanna export it to, you hit export, it'll pop up on a file, you take that file and you can use that to mass import all of your profiles into one. That's pretty much it on AYCD. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not that hard to use. Um, AYCD has an insanely good Discord customer service. So if this is too vague for you and you wanna get more in depth on different things like the spoofer, location spoofer, or um, the browsers that you can open, then that's something you can talk to them about. Um, most of the time, if you're, if you're really lost, they will control your computer for you and help you out with that so um that's pretty much it guys on this um i'm trying to get this out to you because i have a lot of people trying to set up for ys and do things like that so i'm gonna edit this now and get this out i hope this was able to help you guys if you need anything go ahead and drop a comment on here i do answer all questions don't forget to like and subscribe turn on notifications i also have a discord that is open now if you need one-on-one -on -one support if you need bot setup help gmails proxies aycd it doesn't matter it is ten dollars a month um ten dollars initial and then ten dollars every month after that i'm always available to you guys hope everyone has a great day